What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Night Game Show. My name's AJ Gales. How y'all doing? We are back with Fire Emblem Three Houses. We are uh, in our next uh, bit of teaching for this month. <clears throat> As I'm slowly trying not to die. Oh my god. Sorry, I was choking right before I hit record. <clears throat> Let's see. Do we keep boosting his lance? Give him that little extra boost to reason. You know, I said we just make him a C plus in reason. Just give him that last little nudge. The battlefield has marched. Huh, kind of sad he didn't learn a new spell. Um, yeah, let's keep boosting this lance. Keep trying to get this budding talent. Hmm. There we go. Nope, okay. Uh, Linhart looks like he's ready to, almost ready to boost in a few spots, actually. Oh, I would Give him that boost in authority. How embarrassing. Help him a little bit in his reason, but let's get his writing up first. How long? Oops. Sometimes when you hold the button, you, you know, or it, just with the switch, I, I can't, I sometimes don't know if I've pressed a button, um, just because the buttons are a little sensitive at times, so like that, I accidentally had him uh, boost a little bit, so, uh, it, it, as you can see, you know, by the, some of these pictures, you know, like right there, the Saint in, Indec, I don't know, statue uh, gives him boost to uh, the growth in the area, so, you know, it's got the base four, Plus, with reason being a strength, it gets plus two. Plus, that gets set, uh, one, so it's seven experience gained based. There you go. Uh, Bernadetta. I could still help her a little bit. Petra. Jeez, what could I help her in? Eh, probably authority. I know this is going to sound like a weird thing to do, but I'm actually going to start boosting her in magic. Because I, I know I'm training her to be an assassin. Um, two Not the next class, but in the class after, I'm training her to be an assassin when she hits level 20. But there's actually a class the, in the master classes or the, you know, the super far classes. There's a really cool, like, half sword, half magic user. And uh, I'm going to have her become that. So I might as well train her up a little bit more. Um, eh, she's... Might as well try and get this budding talent. Thanks for the help. Thanks for the help. There we go. We're getting there. We have the group task. Let's begin the lecture. Exactly. She wants to focus on sword and authority right now to become a lord. Already working on that love. I'm not English. I don't know why I said love, but whatever. Thank you, Lady Bernadetta. I will take my leave. Oh, good. Uh, bye. Uh, goodbye. Nice save. Finally. Oh, that was awful. Just terrifying. Why are you smiling? Well, I was right in front of you, but whatever. That lady asked me to show her around. I tried to be polite, but strangers are just so nerve-wracking. Oh, yeah? How about when I first met you and I wouldn't come out of the corner or even uncover my face? Actually, now that you mention it, it's funny. Once I started talking to you, I stopped feeling scared. I wonder why. You know, Professor... You might be the first person I've been able to speak to normally since I got here. And I have no idea why. Because I'm a... Because I'm a male Fire Emblem lead and you're a lady, so basically that means given enough time we will sleep together. That's, that's basically what I've come to the conclusion of watching all this Fire Emblem that I've been for the last couple months. 
that that's just kind of how it works. When we first started out here, we had to do drills outside. I skipped those every chance I got. Actually, now that I think about it, technically, if you also throw in miles, it doesn't. It really just it means you're a Fire Emblem character, and I am a lead of a Fire Emblem game. Because gender really doesn't matter there. Huh. Sorry, I got lost in my own brain. It's a terrible idea going out in the forest with all these people you don't even know. Thanks to you, though, I can actually make it through class now. I'm grateful for that. I don't know what. Glad I, I could help. If you weren't here. <sighs> Sorry. I'm okay. I am okay. I'm doing just fine. I feel safe here, thanks to you. What? You, you saw that? Why would you see that? You were watching me? That crosses the line, Professor. Singing? Me? Why would I be singing? I'd never be singing. Ah, I've never been so humiliated. Useless, worthless, unmarriageable. Okay, I'm gonna go put my head in the oven after that. Uh, all right. <coughs> Excuse me. Ah, oh, Leone. Thanks for inviting. I will bring you over to my class. Thanks. She's a really good cavalier with some uh, some bow skills. Yeah, definitely mighty weapons. Yeah, got it. Don't throw away anything that's still usable, okay? I'll take. Commend sip tea. Damn it! Thanks for the tea. Wasn't a perfect tea time, but it was better than that one with Manuela. So, got a boost to our charm. There's one thing taken care of. And writing skills for the two of them up. I get some smithing stones, gold. Let's put this to the test. I am closing in on expertise. And Edelgard is so damn close to getting that. Uh, to getting that level in authority. Impressive. Thanks. Merchant military and bandits. Oddly enough, that was, that's a battalion. Uh, who do we have support with? Jeez, there's a lot of supports. Okay, we'll run through those in a second. Right, I want to run through items real quick. Store the intermediate seal. Do we have another iron? No, we do not have another iron lance. Okay. I either want to buy... I'm not sure. Do I just want to drop the money and buy one, or... It increases magic. See who's got the lowest magic skill, and then we'll decide what we want to do with that. Okay. Well, that's good. Again, I, I like to do this every every time a bunch of people... you Some people get some new skills. Just to make sure I've got what I like. All right, we're good. It's a, I don't know. I I love all the micromanaging that can go into this game. Um. Okay. Who's got the Who's got the lowest magic of our magic users? It's Seventeen, eleven. Really, it actually is Linhart. Okay, so Linhart gets the. Uh, It's the spirit dust. Actually, Caspar's gauntlets could also use a boost. Ah, I also wanted to check battalions. Who doesn't have one? I believe it's only Dorothea. Brawlers. Uh... Yeah, but the two that we have really don't fit her. 
yeah, so we'll hold off on that. Let's run through some of these supports. Bernadetta, why are you following me? <laughs> um... You were following me quite conspicuously, so why attempt to hide now? Because she's a coward? Um... Please don't hurt me! Calm yourself. I have no reason to harm you. Forgive me! I beg you! I'll go straight back to my room and you'll never see me again! I swear! Bernadette. Yes, Lady Edelgard! Please explain why you were following me and why you tried to hide. Is Her Highness saying she will not condemn me? Please, speak like the human that you are. I already said no harm will come to you. Yes, yes, I'm sorry. Um... Permit me to explain. Lady Edelgard, you are fearless. I look up to you as an example to follow. And that explains it. How? I decided to watch Because she's from crazy? To learn from you. But your presence is, um, intimidating. I got more and more scared until I finally couldn't help but try to hide. <sighs> Forgive me. I throw myself upon your mercy. Honestly, look. Nobody is truly fearless. Even I have things that I'm afraid of. What? You do? You seem oddly overjoyed at the thought. No, of course not. But, um, what in the world could possibly frighten you? The sea. I find the pitch black of the open sea at night quite frightening. I can't swim, so if the sea were to wash me away, I fear I would never return. The sea? I think I may have seen it once. Maybe. I didn't know you couldn't swim. That's a surprise. Again, my shortcomings delight you. Everyone has fears as well as things they can't do. How many times must I tell you? Uh, I really did make you angry! <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Uh, what you got, Caspar? Oh, this will be interesting. And that one goes there. Perfect. And here comes Caspar. Oh, hey, Bernadetta. What's going on? Ah, enemy! Enemy's here! We're under attack! Help! Someone! Anyone! Help! I'm the one who came here for help. Well, I guess I'll just take care of it myself. I can't believe I got hurt trying to break up someone else's fight. It's ridiculous. All I do is step in to calm them down, and the next thing you know, they're both at my throat. Hey, you ever been in a fight? Fight? You're challenging me to a duel? No, 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 I can't! Uh, all right. That was easy enough. Not to be rude, but do you ever think that maybe your attitude makes you a little unapproachable? You ever think that maybe that's the point? You should try stepping outside and socializing. I'm sure you'd make friends in no time if you didn't waste it all in here. Outside? In no time? Oh, sure, yeah! Why didn't I think of that? Or maybe it's just not as easy for me as it is for you. Did that ever cross your mind? Why wouldn't it be? Making friends is easy. This one time, I even made friends with someone I'd just been in a fight with. I think it was the gorgeous view that did it. <laughs> uh, we really shared a moment. Come on, let's go check it out. Uh, hold on! What are you doing? Uh, please don't touch me! Ah, put me down! Put me down! Calm down. I'm just gonna carry you out of here. Easy does it. And here we are. See? That wasn't so bad, now was it? And what about this view? Gorgeous, right? So this is what death is like. <laughs> I didn't expect it to be so sudden. Come and claim me, sweet death. But first, let this evening sun wash clean my imperfect soul. Hey, now don't go dying on me, Bernadetta. It's just the sun. Huh? What? Where am I? Oh, it's pretty. Such a lovely view. God damn, I do love Caspar. A fun guy. All right, time for some more. Oh, Petra. Hi. Caspar, do you want to train with each other? Uh, yeah, sure. You have had new training recently and great improvements. I want great improvement too. Will you give me help? Well, hey, look at that. You pay more attention than I gave you credit for. 
I have been trying new training methods. They're definitely paying off. My movements are much sharper lately, more precise. I am knowing that. I want that you teach, I learn. We both get more strength. It will be greatness. All right. I mean, I guess we can give it a shot. Um, Petra? Yes, Kaspar? Um, no, uh, never mind. Sorry. I was just thinking about something else. Nothing at all. Let's train. I heard a question in your voice. Say it. No, no, no. It's really nothing. Don't worry about it. Okay. I will not be worrying. Can we begin the training? Ah, oh, fine. We can talk about it if you insist. <clears throat> Stop pretending like you don't know. What am I knowing? See, I don't want to say that Petra's simple, because that makes it sound like I'm saying she's stupid. When I say she's simple, I mean she's like, she's very upfront with those feelings. Like, all right, you don't want to talk about it. Okay, let's get back to what you know. It, she, I, 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 it's, I guess, straightforward. I guess is the better way to put it. About my father. Your father? He is of the military in the Empire. I hear he has great skill. And I mean that as a compliment. I like that about her character. Makes her seem a little naive sometimes, but uh, I don't know, I like it. No, not that. Well, it's kind of about that. I'm talking about when Dagda and Bridget invaded the Empire. My father led the Empire's army that fended off the invaders. Your father was in that battle. Did you really not know? My father killed yours. You... How long have you had this knowing? I just found out recently. I had no idea before then. But it's all I've been able to think about since. So, now you have the truth. Petra? <sighs> Damn it. What am I supposed to do now? See, but knowing her, I'm going to guess that it's not an anger of uh, that, you know, that how many? Do they only have one or two. No, they have three. Um, it, it, it's not that you know, his father killed hers, I think it's more that she thinks he's mad that they invaded, or something like that. Because so again, Petra doesn't seem the the type to um, begrudge others. You know, it's the more it's the more fear of what they think of her, if that makes sense. It's like all the terrible parts of the day just disappear. If only people could be more like flowers. What's Burn doing? She looks like there's something wrong. All these nobles are just terrifying. And the commoners? Just look at Dorothea. So pretty, popular, dazzling. There's no way someone like me could ever be close with someone like that. Yeah, if only she wore that trendy little hat with, uh, you know, with all, her, with all her class changes and whatnot. That's my biggest thing with Dorothea, like, even when she's in a mage, you know, dressed in her, like, mage outfit or whatever. Still keep the hat. Burn, are you okay? <laughs> Dorothea, did you hear all that? Just the part about you wishing you could get along with someone. So, Burn, who have you got a crush on? Seriously, now, you have to tell me. Who are they? Do I know them? <sighs> I'm so excited for you, Burn. Um, no, I was... Actually thinking about Thank God I didn't just rip my mic cord out. <laughs> Me? I thought we already were friends. That's not what I mean. Oh, I'm such a coward. I thought it would be great if we could be close, but old memories just get in the way for me. Burn, whatever happened in the past, you know you have my full support. I'm here for you. I thought we'd already been friends for a long time now. Please. Just forget it. We'll never be close friends. Father would just... He would just... Uh, no! Wait, I... Father. I'm gonna guess overbearing father has led her to be that introvert that we all know. Let's see, let's look at certs. Um, still 65. God damn it, I gotta get that... I gotta get her her level up one. I forgot Hubert can you know, take a test. He's ooh, actually I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think if it's this. Ooh, it's coming up. I can actually probably. I'm gonna hold off on his advancement because I want to make him a dark knight or a dark mage. 
So I think it fits him really well. But first things first, cast bar. Definitely needs to become a brawler. I love this game's, like, the Roman influences on a lot of stuff. You know, like, in the brawler um, outfit. Really, you know, it, it's very gladiator. <clears throat> uh, you, you will also, especially uh, once you see the dancer class, you'll see that on them as well. Do I not have any more intermediate sales? Oh, I don't. Interesting. Um... Yeah, that's fine though. I, I really until Edelgard boosts. I really don't need another intermediate seal. You know what? Screw it. I'll just buy another Iron Lance. In all honesty, it's really not that expensive. Just sell the crappy Iron Lance and go to the convoy because I also want to sell. A couple bullion that we have. There we go. Uh, yeah, I really don't buy things at the... I, well, actually... Should I just buy the seals now? Nah. I'll hold off. Let's see here. On that, we're good. Good on Edelgard. Ferdinand's Lance is fine. Yeah, I could probably boost these gauntlets. Actually... I just... I might as well just upgrade his gauntlets now that I think about it. Yeah, her steel bow could really use a boost. There we go. Repair. Done. Convoy. Forge. Give Caspar a little extra damage. Give him steel gauntlets plus. I guess it doesn't boost uh, might. It boosts hit, but... Eh, still couldn't hurt. There we go. Uh, battalions, make sure we're loaded up. Higher, because Dorothea actually doesn't have one. And I have boosted her, um, yeah, I've boosted her authority up to rank D, so now I can give her something. Actually, I can give her an Empire Magic Core. Leave it all to which works perfectly for Dorothea. Um, boo, 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 Ferdinand... I'll probably yeah, once I can get his yeah, once I get his uh, authority up one more, give him some knights. Alright, everything's going well so far. We're good on the items, armory, alright. Trying to think if there's anything else I need. Not that I can think of, so I might as well do another battle. And do maintaining your training. This is from Seteth. So we'll do this and head into the next month for, um, what was I thinking? Uh, head into the next month, or, um, not head into the next month, head to the end of the month and do the main mission. There we go. Oh, this is actually the same map. Uh, looks like more sword users this time, though, so, uh, really our strategy won't be that different. Or different at all, I guess. Yeah, let's just fight. Begin the battle. Why the F does Caspar have an axe? Oh, unarmed is an option. i to drop that axe for him because I really don't need it. Let's mark these first couple guys. Send him up kind of as a distraction. I will prevail. Stay focused. Items. Pull out your new lance. As you wish. 
I am Ferdinand von Eyre. And Dorothea will hide behind Bilek. Byleth. Byleth? Why can't I remember the main character's name now? Whatever, it doesn't matter. Alright, there we go. And Caspar didn't get attacked by those guys like I thought he would. Oh well, we'll send him over here. Right makes might, right? I'm just getting started. Physical attack and avoidance one up. Do do do. Trying to remember what her gambit does. Actually, get us a kill, and we'll boost her authority. Oh, we're getting close. Bushes, same with Linhart there, Petra up there. Just advance with Byleth and Dorothea. Dorothea, she's at level... Oh, okay, we can boost Petra. I mean, why did I say she was Dorothea? She's Petra. I mean, Linhart needs a boost. Have him come out of the forest, attack with... Whatever's going to give him the most damage, then be fire. I think he's damn close to that level. Nope, never mind. You should be honored. Uh, who do attack? Let's go after this guy. Some damage, boost support with Byleth. That allows Bernadetta to get an easy kill. Got him. And so close to the level. I'm going to I'm going to wait till the next chapter where we run into the dark knight to the death knight whatever his name is uh, just because we get a chance at a um at a dark seal which will let us turn Hubert into a dark mage basically it'll, it'll just give him a little bit of extra extra boost to that um to his magic That's why I unarmed crit yeah you're better than I thought. Fights with his fists. As expected. And I'm gonna get that lance skill up. Uh, 
All right, Ferdinand's still at level nine. Get him this easy kill. Only a fool challenges me. There it is. Now we can make him a cavalier. Always getting. Like I said, we can make him the ca make him a cavalier. Moving with Bylath. Jeez. I have 19%. Alright, got a 19% chance at a crit. And. I would go in with the Iron Sword, but. I think. Nope, Thunder does more damage. I've got many skills, you know. Take him out with magic, just because I know people are going to start coming at her. We'll go around the rocks with Petra. Send Linhart up. We'll heal Petra. Just give him some more experience. Send Caspar up. Just kind of take the focus off of Dorothea. Oh yeah, I forgot I have him as unarmed right now. Maybe I uh, shouldn't have been goofing around when I did that. Oh well. God damn, that songstress ability of uh, Thorothy's is really good. Heal him with physic. Edelgard. Not there. Use her gambit. Oh, you're kidding me. We missed. She's so close to that level up. Well, at least you got HP and strength. So, end of the day, one a complete waste. And we will attack. Um, yeah, might as well give it the give the easy kill to Ferdinand. This was beneath me. I know that seemed like a weird move, especially when I could just easily take him out, but this way, Byleth gets, uh, not only gets the experience, he also gets the, um... I'm not setting a very good example. I was a shit level up. Uh, he gets the sub... Damn it, I thought he'd get... I... He wasn't standing next to Dorothea. I thought he'd get that with Dorothea. I'm upset now. Hey, you know what? He still does plenty of damage. Just 12 times 4 unarmed. Jeez. Probably because his speed's so goddamn high. So frankly, might as well just keep him unarmed for right now. Not waste his weapon durability. These guys come at us. Again, let him come at us. Okay. Flame spirit protect me. I was just kind of pressing buttons. That it was not the guy I actually wanted to get the kill there on. Not a terrible level up. 
Her magic skill is low, but I'm not surprised because that's not an area she excels in. I won't forget all I Ooh, and there we go. We got the we got the boost and I don't know why I'm still having her use a sword when I don't need her to use a sword. I can actually have her go back to her axe. Must be awful losing to me. If only my There we go. I'm going to buy all of the seals. Because I want to do a good number of class ups. Here we go. Oh, apparently I got his re equipped his gauntlets. You're in good form. And stage complete. Well done, Caspar. And slow load screen. See, I really, I really like that press ZR button to um, show the danger area for all enemies. It's it, it's it, it's a nice simple um, shortcut command for that. Um, why will the word not come to me? Um, for something instead of having to manually do it. There we go. If you just want to pop it on, just as kind of like a quick check. Professor, I... Oh, don't worry. It's nothing. Oh, in the last video, remember where I said that Dorothea listened to Byla's heart and it wasn't beating? This is the support I was talking about. Actually, could we talk for a bit? Somewhere a little more private? I'm just gonna come right out and say it. I find you a little difficult to be around. I know, I know. I'm your student and you're just trying to watch out for me. But the way you look at me sometimes, it's like you're seeing right through me. Don't worry. I know you don't mean anything bad by it. I'm just too self-conscious, I guess. The thing is, I don't have anything to call my own. No land, no birthright, no fortune. Little knowledge or battle skill. I think that's why I always clung to my popularity as a diva. Even after leaving the stage behind, I sort of kept up the act. When I look at you, it's like your eyes are accusing me. Telling me that you see right through it. That's what I mean when I say it's difficult being around you. Hey, uh, this might be nuts, but... Maybe you could show me some kind of weakness of yours? I have no weaknesses. Oh, come on, I am the perfect soldier. Has some kind of weakness. You know mine. If I know one of yours, maybe I'll feel less... I don't know. Vulnerable. Excellent. Well then, don't mind me. You know, Professor, I never hear any gossip about you. Of a romantic nature, I mean. Would I be right in assuming you're not very experienced with romance? Maybe we should find out somehow. This is very interesting. Because my other playthrough I'm playing as a, as a female Byleth. That line right there, completely different. Um, Professor? What's with you? Why aren't you reacting to anything I'm doing? <laughs> Because you're not touching the right places. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll try and keep my pervertedness in check. <sighs> nope. I said try. Oh, come on. Is your heart even beating? You're making me lose my confidence. <laughs> Don't be so silly. Huh? It really isn't beating? Is what I'd say if I were more gullible. <laughs> You're just fooling around, Professor. I'm not sure how you did it, but that was a good one. 
See, but again, that makes me. Uh, I don't know. May, now maybe I'm. Now maybe I'm reading this. Am I? Am I? Uh, I don't know. But if she actually checked, and if its heart isn't beating, that makes me ask questions. I don't know. Now I'm starting to second guess myself and think. It, it, Am I misunderstanding that? Is it, did he, you know, did he actually just trick her? And did she actually not even check? I, I don't know. Hello, professor. May I speak with you? You seem to hold Edelgard in high esteem. That is my impression, at least. Well, now, that is not what I expected you to say. You clearly have high standards. And what is your opinion of me? I am at least her equal, am I not? Be honest. Do not hold back. Pretend that I am just a regular person, not the scion of a noble house. You think she is better than me? Yeah, by about like two, three levels. I was just being modest before. Honestly, I have always prided myself on being superior to Edelgard, but evidently that is not your perspective. Hmm. I suppose there is only one thing to do. I must demonstrate my excellence. What are you gonna whip it out? I. God damn it! Can I stop being weirdly sexual? Precisely. I don't think I can. Cannot stop me. I will prove that you have drastically underestimated me. You think I could ignore such a slight upon my honor? Not likely. Come, professor. Just gonna let that one go. We will begin with battle. Edelgard's skills in combat are no match for mine. I heard that just the other day, she defeated a demonic beast without assistance. Well, anything Edelgard can do, I can do better. And in half the time. Professor, you can be my eyewitness and timekeeper. Here we go. Two at once? That's... Well, it will be fine. I can't do it. It seems you have saved my life. I thank you, Professor. Ah, happy birthday to do. It's really hard to have a tea party with the do. I tried. Well done. You have my thanks. And we get a training white steel sword and merchant military. And we already actually have one of those as a battalion. Um certifications. Item shop. First off. Who has the bullion? go sell that convoy by these three intermediate seals blacksmith no we'll be we don't need the blacksmith just replenish battalions other than that certifications let's see here Edelgard I have been working on making her a lord As expected. Really, the costume for the lords are all kind of the same. It's just the different color schemes. You know, hers isn't red. Dimitri's is blue. Claude's is yellow. Um, like I said, I'm saving up for Hubert. Because I can't make him a dark mage just yet. Because I need a dark seal. And to get one of those, I need to fight the death knight. Which, I will run into him soonish. We're going to hold off on that, actually. With our good friend Ferdinand here, we're going to make him a Cavalier. He's definitely one of the guys that we want to upgrade now. A true noble never fails. Okay. 
And who next? Linhart, we can make him a priest. Bernadetta can become an archer. And eh, she's the higher level. She could become a mercenary. But I think the best decision is actually to keep boosting Bernadetta. So we're going to make her an archer. Uh, the reason I do that, it's just because um, archers can be really powerful. And I, I know that's weird, because from everything I've heard from Fire Emblem, from people who you know play Fire Emblem games regularly, they'll tell me that, um, uh, or not, not necessarily from you guys, but you know I've been told that in Fire Emblem games, archers are usually not that powerful, but um, I've found that not to be the case. Yeah, store that one. Might as well take up the, the good sword. Um, do, 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 do. Has Dorothea... Yeah, actually, she can take up a steel sword, so might as well. Might as well take the steel sword. I'll actually, equip thunder instead of instead of the thor... The, the, the thord, the sword. Words are hard. Um, what was I saying? But yeah, archers are strong in my opinion but uh again that's my opinion run these supports real quick and don't even think about brawling around here again impressive caspar well done hey ferdinand did you see that fight i saw it from start to finish both parties were at fault disturbing the peace then you stepped in and corrected their behavior you are setting a good example i am proud to call you my fellow noble your fellow noble I wasn't even thinking about nobility. It had nothing to do with it. Excuse me, nothing? Resolving conflicts among common folk is a duty of the nobles. Is that not what you were doing? Eh, get your head out of your ass, Ferdinand. So? But it was more like instinct or something. I saw people acting out of line and I had to step in. Ah, you were acting on impulse. You might be better served following moral convictions rather than instincts. Take me, for example. I always bear in mind that I am a noble and behave accordingly. The fortunate must help the unfortunate. That is my guiding principle. Yet it makes you sound kind of like a gigantic douchebag. I never have any idea what you're talking about. If someone's in trouble, you gotta help them out. Simple as that. Simpler and doesn't make you sound like an asshole. A difference of opinion, you might say. Very well then. Believe what you will. I will not expend energy trying to change your mind. Maybe all of this noble stuff just isn't for me. Hey! Don't walk away when I'm talking to you. Oh, poor Caspar. And finally, we got Ferdinand and Petra. Ferdinand? Our professor is wanting to see you. Hmm. Uh, he has much concentration right now. I will wait for him to be finished reading. Mm hmm. Diplomacy has an effect upon weapons development. Yes, that makes sense. Oh, Petra, how long have you been there? A short time. You were devoting all of your attention to that book. Forgive me, I was fully absorbed in my reading. I see you have been reading as well. Anything interesting? I am studying the history of Foglin. A history book? What a keen student you are. And it's about House Hressfeld. Certainly a stimulating topic. I am wishing to learn all about Fodlin. What is the book you are reading? Oh, this? This relates to a little hobby of mine. The regional history of weapons development in Fodlin. Militaries have to adapt their weapons according to terrain and climate. And they have to keep up with technologies in other regions. It's very interesting. Yes, it is interesting. I see why you would be enjoying that kind of reading. Oh, does that excite your curiosity too? Perhaps you would care to read more about it then. This is just one of 18 volumes, and our library has the entire collection. I give you my gratitude. Research of weapons could be a good reference for me. Oh, please take my apologies. I was meaning to tell you that our professor is wanting to see you. Oh, it is not like you to forget something. I suppose I ought to be going then. 
Yes, it is a rarity that I forget something. But it is not impossible. I love Petra. Alright. I remember there's one last thing I wanted to do. Because Edelgard finally is now a lord. She doesn't need that sword anymore. You can go but right back to wielding her axe. And time for the mission. This weather is unfortunate. Those villagers were right when they said a storm was brewing, but they were more afraid of an attack than they were of the storm. Let's end this quickly. The thieves have taken Conan Tower as their base. There it is in the distance. Niklon must be more skilled than your average thief to have overtaken a place like that. This area was the site of a massive battle several hundred years ago, when invasions from the north were at their peak. This tower was built for both surveillance and defense. It will be difficult to seize it. You know your history, Gilbert. If I recall correctly, you're from the kingdom, aren't you? I left my home long ago. If you have any questions about the mission, I'd be happy to answer them. House Gautier has always placed great importance on whether or not someone bears a crest. Margrave Gautier has two sons. A crest never manifested for his eldest. It's not hard to imagine why he left and wound up in this sort of life. Well, he was not necessarily, he didn't necessarily left. He was more disowned, but whatever. There's no reason that crests should have the power to dictate someone's destiny. Don't you agree, Gilbert? He was just another victim of cruel fate. Forsaken by the goddess, who now demands his execution. I mean, does the goddess demand his execution, or is that uh, Rhea? You know, I should probably do that mission assistance thing, but uh, just bringing in someone else who's not going to gain experience for your group. I don't know, maybe because it, it, it could build support. And, um, I don't know. I just don't think I think it's just easier not to deal with it. See, this is another one of my, one of my big things with this game, and it, it seems like all my my big problems with this game really aren't that like aren't that big in the long run. It's just I feel like for a lot of chapters, or even some of the paralogs, you know, we have some dialogue, and then bam, it drops us into the map, and I always kind of feel like, man, it, it just it seems to me like there could have been one or two more scenes leading up to it that would have explained everything oh that's right i don't have a thief uh my my byleth in my other playthrough was a was a thief so i could just run in and um open chests i didn't need keys or anything uh sorry i lost track of lost my train of thought there um yeah i i just i i, I think that this game will sometimes just drop you into missions and when I feel like it should actually hold up a little, or it, it feels like it's missing a scene or two every now and then. It just, it bugs me. Um, it, you know, I, I feel like it's one of those, now that I bring it up, you'll notice it more and more as we go. But it's really weird. Is close by. We're almost to the top floor. They have nowhere left to flee, so the situation is in our favor. Not necessarily a difficult mission. It's, you know, they got some archers up here. You got uh, Miklon there with the lance. But then you got uh, rogues. I think all these guys, yeah, they just drop vulneraries. Yeah, you got some uh, some armored knights, some mercenaries, some... Actually, no, those are thieves, not mercenaries. Archers, got one down here. What's he carrying? He's uh, He's got an accuracy ring. That's not a bad thing to have. More rogues, some... Mages. Every so often they also drop reinforcements. 
So, all right. First things first, let's mark the area for these guys. Stay focused. Byleth kind of hold position there with Adel. I will get the victory. <laughs> Battle. Really can't do anything against that guy. I am Ferdinand von Eyre. Shut up, Ferdinand. Oh, no. Nobody likes you. Actually, Bernadette. Nah, nah. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna waste five weapon durability on a shot with like 50% accuracy. And Gilbert's just gonna charge up with us. The horse doing the side jump. Yeah, I I like the horses. It's something about just the way their hair is designed, though. You know how it always looks like they're running in the wind. It kind of bugs me. I know that's a that's a weird peeve, but I don't know, just something about it annoys me. Should be a kill. I'd rather be napping. Yeah, well, so would I. Runner curved shot. Yeah. Ah. Oh yeah, that's right. Because Bernadetta, I th because she's now an archer, she gets. Um, I think it's called. I'm trying to remember what the skill is called. It's called. Um, I think bow range plus one. I think that's literally what it's called. So it, basically, I mean, the, what it does is exactly in the title. It gives her plus one range to all her bow attacks. So she can cra attack from uh, from three squares now. Oh, I'm trying to think who I want to get this kill to. Let's, get, let's, let's send Edelgard in. I haven't seen her work her axe in a while. Boom. Here they come. Captain's in trouble. Enemies approach. Interesting that he just charges forward. Actually gonna send Hubert down here. Give Petra the chest key and wait. And again, trade Caspar. Give him the chest key. Wait, and Gaspar will now go around to open the chest. Edelgard, Byleth, Dorothea, and Linhart. Oh, and uh, Ferdinand will charge forward. Even if it hit, it wouldn't have done anything. Child's play. You're soft. I could shield. Gas bar who has it. I'm not under a turn restriction, so I'll just kind of chill here. Wait for the mage to come at me. Come on, 
We shall leave Petra back here. Like these guys. Of course, I get a critical on the guy with one health, but all right. won't do anything my turn and of course nobody can attack <laughs> all right it will do a little bit of damage there Damn it, I... Oh, wait, do I have access to those yet? I was thinking I didn't equip a javelin or anything to, uh... To Linharp, but now that I think about it, actually, I don't think we have access to javelins just yet. So that might be a moot point. Just, like, hand axes for, uh, Edelgard. Interesting decision to go after Ferdinand on that one. Start getting ready for the next guys to come at us. Him up. Same with Linhart. Yeah. Curved shot hits do this a little bit of damage. Not a great level up. And now we can attack back with our steel bow. 100% chance to hit. He goes down. My heart is full of victory. Hard work. Come on. Yeah, we know they're just gonna start running forward at us. Yeah, actually, okay, I thought he'd stay back with us, but I guess not. Uh, 
trade back and forth a little bit. But no matter what, he can't hit, so there's no point. Charge in with the steel sword, get some damage in. And like I said, the armored knights, god damn, because of their defense, they just barely take any damage as long as it's not a magic attack. It's actually really hard to hit them. The battle command goes to C+. Plus. Witness Bridget Pride. Send Linhart up. <laughs> Do a little damage. I've got many skills, you know. I want to be all I can. There we go. through anything. There we go. Get him to run away after that. Edelgard. She uh Ooh, she has Helm Splitter. Cool. I was hoping she had that skill. And that rogue falls. What was I talking about? Uh, oh yeah, with Helm Splitter. Um, basically, it helps her take out the heavy armored guys. It's an axe skill that's for defeating those guys. I will win. <laughs> My heart is full of victory. Hard work created this. A fine display. Maybe you shouldn't attack somebody that you have 0% chance of damaging. One step at a time.
Alright, Edelgard will have her charge up and use Helm Splitter. Get the mage. And even his lance skill went up to C. Strength defense, not bad. Shatter slash. Actually, not sure what that does. Back to the fresh. Give a heal for Ferdinand. Kind of hoping for that crit, but all right. No one makes it past me. But there we go. Now I can do so much better. Pretty good level up. I'm getting it. I'm impressed. guys out while they're here come on strength luck resistance not bad Linhart gets the kill I think he boosted in reason magic too it's simple luck not a total waste cutting gale is a pretty good skill Yeah, attacking Edelgard, probably not your best move, folks. Now. See, that actually was smarter, was going at her with gambits. It's not gonna work, but better idea. Always nice. It's over yet. And heal Linhart. Oh, then heal Ferdinand. I am Ferdinand von Eyre. We'll then charge forward to attack this archer. Yeah. Eh, I'm not gonna waste the charge. Move up the cast bar. And finally, Edelgard. Uh, do we do the easy kills? Nah, I'm gonna charge around and attack that uh, that knight in the background. <laughs> Come on, Linhart, dodge! It all comes down to this. Gotta use your head sometimes. Uh, 
and get the sword experience. What a jump! He'll take the gauntlet kill. Takes out the rogue. Ferdinand takes that one out. This was beneath me. So sending Edelgard around. Edelgard, she's just gonna defend. Jeez, have I killed everyone else? Jeez, Christ, I have. Well, I'm gonna send Edelgard around to take care of that guy. He'll charge up with his lance. Everyone else will advance much slower because, you know, they're not riding a horse. Could do that, or again, you just use Helm Splitter. Get the uh, damage boost because it's against an armored opponent, and take the accuracy ring. Ferdinand, because he's probably the only one who would be able to attack the bowman. Just get the kill. Only a fool challenges me. Greatness of. Start sending him up. I think he has monster piercer. Oh, that's right. We don't need uh, we don't need that skill yet. Sorry, I accidentally gave something away. Jeez, this is my least favorite part about this map. Is just kind of when you when you kind of clear them out a little early. So now all you're doing is just running forward. Thank you. 
And the boss just stays there. Ally runs forward. Uh, Tempest Lance. Uh, Night Kneeler is for uh, mounted opponents. What's Shatter Slash? Drops his defense, which isn't a bad thing to do against a guy like this. Um, especially when we have other units rolling in. But we're going to wait until our other units, you know, get here. Also, he's stationary, so it really doesn't matter. I was just saying, it really doesn't matter that we're just kind of hanging out for now. Byleth can't attack this turn, but he will next. Drop his defense and take 23 points of damage. I can fight through anything. Now I get Ferdinand the hell out of there. Alright. Not bad for your kind. A bunch of spoiled, rotten children. And this, kids, is what happens when the holy relics are used by somebody without the corresponding crest. Basically, this being the holy relic of the um, House Gautier. Because Miklon doesn't have the Gautier crest it rejects him and why Sylvain can use it without this happening because Sylvain has that crest Damn, look at that I'm out of here uh, hold on And now you see why I wanted the Monster Piercer ability. Yeah, that looked like really bad CGI. Like, I, I kind of like the whole pseudo 3D cartoon thing that they've got going every now and then. But for, for that thing and that shot right there, it just looked really bad. First time fighting such a thing? Then listen well to what I say. An evil power has caused them to grow quite large. Their life force is beyond a mortal like yourself. You cannot win unless you fell them twice, or even thrice. Even if you've cornered one, you cannot let your guard down. Those things are even worse when threatened. Can you see that barrier? It is surrounded by great power. You must break through to fight that thing. A strong attack or gambit might help to break through more quickly. If you can break the barrier, that power will have nowhere else to go. It cannot counter while confused, which means that is the best time to attack. If you break down all of their barriers, not only will they be confused, they will not be able to move for a short while. 
Without the power flowing around them, they will not be able to restore their barriers. You might even be able to get something from them. They have such might that they will not fear you alone. But a battalion could prove useful on that front. Attack them with a gambit to draw their attention and force them to target you. Be on your guard when they have realized their full power. The damage caused at times like that is not contained to just one spot. Once they have charged some power up, their barriers will be restored. Distract them with a gambit, or just take them down before they can attack. In any case, think carefully before you act. But you should be conquering that thing instead of talking to me. If you're out of questions, get over there and fight! I love how that's the tutorial for- how'd you learn all this anyway? I, I really like how that tutorial was done. It was, it was clever. How pitiable. The least we can do is put an end to his suffering. Alright, everyone's health remains the same, sadly. So we'll heal up Petra with Linhart. Actually, I could have used Bernadetta's, uh... Why well, can't I think of the name of the move? Her curved shot and could have gotten one in. Yeah, just because Ferdinand's a little weak right now. Nice dodge, Petra. Alright, let's see here. What to do, what to do, what to do. Okay, he's charging up energy right now. Ferdinand. Just gonna attack basically just all around him. So the simple solution is. We attack all the points to dizzy him. We try and break the barrier to stop the attack. Damaged both those sides. Now with her bow. And not what I wanted to do. Our authority leveled up because I actually wanted to attack with the bow. Oh well. And Edelgard does not have a combat art. Effective against beasts. Here we go. We got through one health bar. Smash one of his barriers. What's his... Uh, okay, so he's got the barrier ability. Makes critical hits against him possible. So now, if unit lands an attack, targeted foe is unable to use magic for one turn. Okay, because now he's down to one health, so that's his ability. And he also gets plus six strength once we get him down uh, to no health. So, uh, basically, the uh, plan is uh, don't let him attack. Yeah. 
Oh, did he break? Nope, did not break through. Thoron can hit that spot. Interesting, I thought she would have broken the armor. There we go. Okay, he's dizzied again. Cannot hit the point I need to hit. Rendered useless. Frap. And we lost Hubert. Redo this player phase. Stay focused. Dodge by the attacks again. Probably should have been attacking with uh, my relic, but. Bernadetta over here. Nice dodge. I will get the victory. Petra takes the hit, but at least destroys some of the barrier like that. So now he's stunned. Put me in there. Caspar charges up, destroys it, knocks his health back. Prevail. Edelgard can charge. Cause damage. As you wish. Go ahead and use this gambit of group flames. There we go. That's my cue. Knock through all of his barrier. Just don't want to waste two. Oh well. Yes, 
I have to. And what I love about cutting Gale is that it has such a high crit chance. Didn't get the kill, did some pretty hefty damage though. And Ferdinand really can't do anything, so he'll hold. Enemy's still stunned, so they can't do anything, and it looks like our... Nope, he'll just miss. Okay, who's gonna be able to get the kill? 13, 16, 10, 13, 11... I'm just trying to see who's at the, who's at the lowest level. Ah, eh, fine, Hubert, you can get the kill. Ah, uh, monster battles. They're actually pretty cool. Yeah, you know, I fought a few like smaller, like less, you know, imposing monsters, but still, it's always fun. It adds a interesting kind of strategic level to combat. It is done. Let's retrieve the lance and depart at once. Okay. Oh, really, Edelgard? Well, yeah, it makes sense that Edelgard was the MVP on that one. All right, guys, we're going to close here. Thank you for watching. As always, Facebook, Twitter, the website, Minds.com. Links that stuff is down in the description below. Like, comment, if you're not already, please subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned more next time. Until then, my name's AJ Gales. This is the Game Channel.